Hello and welcome back to AGD. I am your host Shirogane, and we'll be continuing Love at First Sight. I'm going to try to find Sachi again today, but first, all right, I need some help. But let's make. It. We're holding a council as we're finishing up our lunches. Oh uh, yeah. What do you what do you think the best way to become friends with her? What makes you think I know? Okay, no, not just her. I mean in general, how do you make friends? Didn't you have any friends? At your old school? Well, yeah, but... Then you should know, shouldn't you? No, it's not like that. Like I had to try to make friends, I just became friends with someone without even realizing. I guess that's why I need advice. And that's kind of what happens to everyone. <laughs> okay, my turn. I can't be who'd been silent until now. Suddenly shouts, surely. No, I'm not gonna use it. I'm not even gonna speak louder in that voice that I need to. But I want to eat my lunch, so I stay, qu I stay quiet and let her talk. My coon, answer the sim. It's simple. You just have to remember when you first met us. It's a little depressing if our first meeting was the only frame of reference she has. <laughs> when I met you. Yeah, because we became friends pretty easily, of course. It's not like you could resist my fantastic charm, but still. No, at the, uh -huh. at the time I was thinking these guys were are weird. I only got to know you out of morbid curiosity. What's that mean? <laughs> the fact that you're able to get along with us nerds means you're also weird, doesn't it? I'm not denying that. No, <laughs> no, deny it. I don't know what's so weird about. You're more sociable than uh, than me. And not as loud as a Kemi. Why are you guys always ganging up on me? Anyway, the point is that we don't want to scare her away, right? Yeah, pretty much. You're ignoring me again. And you were going to find, and you were going to find her today, right? Yeah, I'm planning to, but I want to eat my lunch here. Last time I met her, having food with me, she got away. Besides, I don't want to spend my entire lunch break with her and leave these two hanging. Are you... sure you can stand being away from us? Sometimes I think this guy can read minds. He really doesn't look it, but he does care about others. I think I'll manage. I'm more worried about leaving you alone with Akemi. Don't remind me. I do like having someone else around who can keep this fool in check. What did you just call me? I wonder if I should even go. You sure you can keep her in check on your own if I'm not here? Then again, Sachi would be finishing up her lunch soon. I've been finishing up my own lunches in a hurry as I walk in <laughs> I'm talking. Since Sachi is eating alone, she probably won't take long to finish her, finish her lunch. Sachi, is that the one-eyed girl? Come to think of it, I don't remember her whole name. Alright, Usui Sachi. Sachi, huh? Who should be Sachan and... <laughs> <laughs> I say Sachan, I think of Kachan. Because the voice is. Uh, 
the voice I'm making just... Uh. <sighs> then you will finally introduce her to me. I'll call her Sakyan. That reminds me, when I first met, met Akemi, she immediately gave me the nickname Makun and she didn't seem to care that I had only known her for about a minute. Not that, I, not that I dislike her, but the speed at which she can get close to people are a bit unsettling to say the least. You decided on a nickname for her before you even met her? Well, it's not like I'm the one who's going to meet her. Makun, hurry up and introduce her to us. I don't have to worry about befriending her on my own. Yeah, yeah, I get the. In that case, I better hurry and Kimmy doesn't have to think too hard and risk shorting out her brain. <laughs> my brain isn't going to short out. Hey, wait a minute. Good luck. <laughs> Thanks. I glanced at uh, the winding that came before packing up my lunchbox and leaving the classroom. Of course, there is no guarantee I actually will find her. Sachi is probably just finishing up her lunch by now, and I'm sure she'll go somewhere else where she does. There's also the possibility she choose to eat somewhere else in order to avoid me. I guess I won't know until I go, no. Alright, she's here after all. Same place, same frightening look. How's it going? Hello. Is she on guard again or s this time? She seems calmer than she did yesterday. Looks like she finished her lunch. Her lunchbox is closed. Now what do I do? I suppose I should think of something to say first. I'm not trying to scare you or anything, I just want to be friends, you know? Friends? Her darting eye tells me that I still don't have her trust. The only thing I can tell her for sure is that she's suspicious of me. But who wouldn't be? Yeah. Do you not want to me here? You don't have to leave, but in that case, I can walk. I can talk for the rest of the lunch break. Okay. Great. She doesn't reject me yet. All right. Thanks. I sit down at the stair next to her, same as yesterday. What were you we talking about yesterday? All right. Something about bugs. Yeah, bugs. Like reading, right? Do you read manga and stuff? I like, I like reading novels, mostly just novels. I see. So you don't like manga then? No, I, I like them. It's just uh, I don't have money for manga. Nov novels either. I borrow books from the library, the school library. I mean, they don't have manga. So that's it. Hey, if you want, I can lend you some of my manga. I have a few novels too, not just manga, but I figured that she'd be more interested in what she hasn't gotten as much as chance to read. Um, are you sure? Yep. What genre do you like? I mean, I don't have tons, but my collection is not too small either. I could lend you some of my favorites. Is that really okay? Shouldn't you go out of your way for me? I find it it's fine, it's really not a big deal. I just happy we have something in common. I see. Thank you very much. If you have some you want to read, let me know. So the genre do you like? Any genres is fine, besides scary stories or painful ones. Horror is no good then, eh? You don't have a favorite genre then. Um sorry. Hi, that's no reason to apologize. Alright. The book you were reading yesterday, what was it? Can you let me see it? Oh, this? He points out at the book and sitting next to a cider. A science fiction book. Ah, he messed up. Sci-fi. You don't look like you'd be interested in that sort of thing. I read those too, actually. I really don't care about um, genre. If it's interesting, I'll read it. Anything that's interesting is good, right? This looks like a good book. Anyway, 
I'll try to choose some I think you'll like. Why don't I bring some of the ones I w would usually recommend to people? Okay, I really appreciate that. Yeah, no problem. By the way, how is this book? I've heard it before, but I've never actually read it. Um, it's okay, I guess. There's a lot of tension between us now that there was yesterday. Her voice is still shaky and afraid, but it looks like she's become a lot more comfortable with me. She may not be used to talking with people, but it doesn't seem like she's opposed to a good conversation. And the bell interrupts us. Time to go already, huh? But at least I was able to talk to her more. That's something to be happy about. Oops, we should get going. Right. The two of us stand up, heading down the stairs. Come back here tomorrow, okay? I'll bring some of the manga, I promise. Huh, okay. Um, Mamoru Senpai? <laughs> I cringe. I cringe only when I... I feel... It's just when either a certain... When I have to say kun... I, I think I got used to saying kun thanks to Akemi. But like saying senpai and actually trying to mean it, <laughs> not just reading it, uh, but like cringe slowly. But I stare. <laughs> yeah, I stop at the end step, turn towards Sachi. Her voice is so quiet that it's hard to hear over the sound of his footsteps. I'm really sorry. Really, I don't mind lending you one or two books. It's not that um uh, coming up here to talk to me. Uh, where she can at exactly. I wonder if you actually can hear me. Now that I think about it, I may be mumbling, trying to be a shy, trying to say it in a shy way. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Usually, when people offer to do nice things for me and say thanks, not sorry. But this, not that you have to bow or anything like that. Actually, I should be thanking you for talking to me. Sorry. There you go again. Sorry, I mean, th thank you. Yep, I'm glad I can help. We were descending the stairs before, and now we're looking at the second floor where my classroom is. She got one more floor to go since she was the first year. Alright, this is my stop. See you tomorrow. Sure, tomorrow then. We separate ways. Sachi goes to her first floor room while I return to my classroom on this floor. Well, I did it. I only just met her, but surprisingly, we actually made a promise to meet again. again. It's only been a day, but I feel like I've gotten much closer. While in the afternoon classes, I think about what kind of manga I should lend her and try to remember what's on my bookshelf. And then the next day... Morning, I entered my classroom and noticed that Akemi and Tomo are already here. They both seem very confused as they look from me to a paper bag I'm holding. Makun, what? What's that? Are you opening a store? Nope, that wasn't a voice. I just I don't know now. I was talking with Sachi a bit yesterday, and I told her I'd lend her some manga. I think you brought too many, too few, too many. Tomo sounds more surprised than anything. Yeah, I think you're right. The immediate sized paper bag I brought seemed a long, like second under the weight of the manga inside. Didn't you know how heavy it was when you tried to lift it up? I guess I didn't somehow. Is Sachan an amazing or something? She's gonna have a hard time carrying that bag or home otherwise, you know. I'm starting to worry about that myself. I don't think it'll be impossible for her, but it probably will be hard. Don't you think it would be better to give the books to her a few at a time? I 
guess so. I'll let her borrow them all eventually, I suppose. Aside from that, I've got some more urgent I need to take care of right now. I quickly turn to Akemi and bow my head. Huh? What's... Huh? What's up? Please let me see, let me see your homework. <laughs> really? You didn't do it? This is the second time today I heard Tomo sounding surprised. That's a new record, I think. No, you see, I was looking through my bookshelves, trying to find a book I could lend Sachi, and I was flipping through each book to determine whether or not it should be good. And well, I ended up doing that all night. You're saying you spent the whole day reading manga instead of doing your homework? I suppose that's in a nutshell. Yeah, so Kimmy, help me out. Incidentally, there's a reason I'm asking Kimmy, despite the fact that she's kind of an airhead. Personality-wise, she's actually a really good student. I won't say she's smart exactly, but she does seem like the studious type. That's not to say Tomoyori, Tomoyori grades are bad or anything, but it's easier to ask Akemi than him. Well, I guess I have to. I think it will be an investment into my future rendezvous with Sachan. Wait, wait, don't put any weird obligations on me. No, no, it's just setting the table so I can meet her sooner. <laughs> setting the table? We're not going out to eat. So you don't... So, you don't want to see my homework then? I will concentrate wholly on the work at hand, so please allow me to see it. Okay. Very nice. Okay. <laughs> I'm just gonna give up on the voices. Lunchtime! Before I can think of which book I was gonna lend her, I have to haul all the manga I brought to the stairway to the roof. Hey, what's up? Hello, um, Mamaru Senpai. What's that? The gazing shifts into the bag. Does it really stand out that much? I picked out some of the manga to read, but I guess I brought a few too many. There are a lot. Do you walk to school? Uh, yes. I thought you might. I brought two or three different series, so I'll go ahead and pick out the one you want to read so you can take a few at a time. I don't want to overload you. I'm sorry. No, I'm the one who should be apologizing. Anyway, check these out. Okay. The bag crickles as I dig into my hand in a pile of tower manga. Sachi constantly extends her hand towards, but she looks. She looks like she's about to commit a serious crime. Grave sin. I, mean. I guess she never borrowed manga from anyone before. She looks scary for some reason. But as she starts to sort through them, as she's reading the summaries and flipping through the pages, her expression loosens up a little bit. This one looks really interesting. Oh, I saw a bunch of, ooh, saw a bunch of copies of this one lined up at the bookstore a little while ago. This one, I, this one I remember right. They say they're going to make it into a movie. So did you find one you like? Yes, they're all so interesting. I can I can't decide. Um, this one and this one. Wait, no. This one. <laughs> I wait patiently as Sachi begins to fidget relentlessly and turn her head to me for guidance. I feel like I said that wrong. Probably did. There's no hurry. Pick whichever you want. Until the bell rings, then there is a hurry. Sorry, okay. Sorry, I'll take this one and this one. Are you doing anything after school, or are you going right home? Um, uh, I'm going right home. I can help you carry them to your house after class. Wait for me at the school gates. Huh? I hastily 
pack the manga back in the paper bag before she can say anything. I'm ready. I'm already hanging on the stairs with the bag in arms. Just before I turn the corner, I catch a glimpse of Sachi and say, See you after school. Wait, senpai! Having more or less forced her into, I leave the shaken Sachi and return to my classroom. <laughs> After school. I leave the school building carrying the heavy paper bag. I have no idea how far Sachi's home is, but it wouldn't be right to carry her all the way home. Come to think of it, I don't even know where her house is. I don't know what I'm going to do if it's in the far opposite direction of my own home. No, I agree to this, so even if it's the opposite direction, I will go all the way there. I really don't think this through, did I? Now, now that I think about it, it's like I'm tricking her into showing me where she, her home is. It isn't like some. <laughs> it, it isn't it kind of creepy if someone you've only known for a few days finds out where you live. Wait, if she does think I'm creepy, as I'm thinking about this, I leave the gates and survey the area. Where's Sachi? I suddenly worry and something left without me. I guess I was too pushy. I didn't even wait for her to agree to let me walk her home. If she decided to go home on her own, it wouldn't be out of place and I wouldn't have no right to complain anyway. If that's the case, wouldn't she have been come to my classroom and giving me the, back the manga first? I'm senpai. Hmm? No sooner did I hear the voice, I realized it's standing next to me, looking up. Where the hell did she come from? She really snuck up on me. Shall we go? I look over to confirm the fact that she's next to me, then watch as she quickly leaves campus, staring at the ground with an uneasy expression. It seems like she wants to avoid being seen. I continue after this, hauling the heavy paper bag along. About 10 meters on, we turn down the narrow road and she slows down to a more normal pace before turning to look at me. Uh, uh. She seems to have forgotten what she was about to say. Sorry for forcing you to do this. You, think, you must think I'm a jerk. No, you're not a jerk. I wouldn't go that far. Eh? So, she is somewhat a jerk? I think I should go home alone. I don't want to cause you any trouble. Hmm. I seem to think about it a bit before thrusting the manga filled bag at Sashi. She hurriedly throws her arms to take it but as I take my hands off the bag Sachi falls forward in its weight. The bundle of books <laughs> the leaf trumped and hit the ground. Yep turns out she isn't an Amazon after all. See that's too many heavy for you isn't it? That's why I'm carrying it for you. If you do hate me though, you should say so. I pick up the bag of manga again. But isn't it going to be a pain for you? Nope, it was no pain. I tell you, don't worry about it, Sachi. Aren't, aren't I the one being the pain here? If you think about it, isn't following someone I barely know to her house kind of rude? Now, I don't mind it is following me if it's you following me to my house. Really? Well, I'm glad. So which way is your house? This way. Alright, let's get going. Okay. The two of us start walking at a steady pace side by side. Sachi takes his short steps, but since I weigh down by the heavy books, I match her speed perfectly. Um. What's up? Which way is your house? If it's in the opposite direction, I mean, that's the case, I can carry the manga on my own. Interesting, uh, interesting. Sachi started talking to me on her own. That makes me strangely happy, even if it's only a minor thing. Mamoru-senpai? No worries, there isn't, this isn't the street I usually take, but my home is in this direction. What street do you turn on? I don't turn, I mean, the streets change, but basically I head in the direction. Oh, I screwed up. <laughs> <coughs> I 
I don't turn, or I mean, the street changes, but basically I head in this direction the whole day. I see, that's good. My house is pretty much straight ahead, so we're probably going to the same neighborhood. Does it take long for you to get to school? I think I'm pretty close. It doesn't take long or anything. Is that so? Cool, cool. Isn't it heavy? I think I can help you carry it. I'm telling you, it's fine. I did drag all this way to school from my house this morning, you know. Oh, uh, okay. Sorry. Come on, I'm the one who invited myself to come along with you, so there is nothing you need to apologize for. You're not doing anything wrong. Um, well, okay. Thank you. No problem. Anyway, tomorrow's the weekend, isn't it? Don't worry about rushing through the books. Just get back to me. You have plenty of time, after all. Yeah, I guess so. Thank you. The two of us lapsed into silence a little while as we continued on. On the way, I noticed something. Even though we were generally headed in the same direction, we were... We were when we started. Sachi keeps changing streets. I think it's because she's avoiding streets with a lot of people on them. On top of that, whenever we get to the end of the street, she bows her head as she walks, looking at the ground. Has your house on the other side of the shopping mall? I want to stop looking down so I tried striking up a conversation again. No, we're just a little. We're not going that far, it's just a little farther from here. We should be able to see it soon. I see, my house is a little ways behind us. It's a different street, but we really are in the same neighborhood. Oh, really? I honestly thought they were going to be on the same street and not notice that they were actually neighbors or something like that. There are coincidences, coincidences like that. It's more common in manga, but less of, it would have been... That weird. She points out a little ways ahead of us. Oh, this is your place, huh? We arrived at a solitary, small, nondescriptive house. Thank you very much. I can take them to my room from here. Okay, sure. With, uh, with a metal clack, the door, Asachi opens the door. Surprised, the two of us turn around, the woman who comes out stares back at the moon, but she quickly focuses Asachi, narrowing her eyes. Aunt oh, Mayumi, are you going out? Asachi looks like she's about to cry as she lowers her head, trying to avoid looking at the woman. The person Asachi referred to Aunt Mayumi is, is a slender woman with a perfect posture and two normal eyes instead of one giant one. Yes, something urgent has come up at work. Sachi, who is this boy? She looks over at the top of bottom face, graves and smiling at her. Eye creeps up into the bag I gave Sachi. She's beautiful, but sh her stare is so icy it sends shivers down my spine. Um, this from school, a student. Sachi's voice is tiny, but she bows her head again, frust flustered, and I'm not sure what the woman can hear her. Should I try to point out that she turns to Sachi, bef but before she can speak, I open my own mouth. I am Fukunaga Mamuru. I recently transferred school, and I met Sachi a few days ago. I came with her so I could carry her so I could carry the bag of books and manga I'm letting her borrow. I try to say this politely as possible, but I probably talking way too quickly. I see. Thank you, Mamoru, for doing this for her, Mamoru. Her speech is so polite, but she says the thing is very flat tone, and it sounds hard to tell what she's thinking. Of course. Now I must get going, Sachi. Since you're late, you'll have to eat alone. Okay. With that, the woman rushes out of the house. I watch her for a bit until she turns up the street, but... She never looks back at this way. Family member, huh? You called her your aunt. Yes, my mother's sister. I'm living with her right now. I see, I see. I want to ask her about her family situation, but swallow the thought and ask what I think is more important. That woman is your aunt, Mayumi. 
Does she treat you badly? Huh, no, not at all. I can really seem to get... I can't really seem to get close to her, though. Oh. I don't know if that she's bad at telling lies or not, but it doesn't seem like a lie, at least. She might be gaining her injuries from the bullies at school, after all. But without knowing how her family treated her, I couldn't be sure. Okay, I'm going home. You can return to Mongo whenever. Sure, really. Thank you so much. See you next week. See you. Sachi holds her the books and <laughs> Manga with the grunt and her head inside. After making sure she made it inside, I start walking towards my own home. I'm worried that our relationship isn't going to come along as well as I had hoped, but at least it doesn't seem like she's going to, she's being abused by her family. At any rate, I think we've gotten a little bit closer than we were before. I smile as I think about that. Have uh, one eye on. Well, guys, this is where I'll leave it off. Uh, but honestly. It was interesting. I did not expect her to be living here with her aunt. What could have been with her family, or at least her mother and father? Could they have abandoned her and her aunt take place? Could they have died? Who knows? Oh, and who knows whether they'll actually take a part in this story? Much more. Well, we'll continue this series next time. I've been your host, Shirogane. Thanks for watching.